Well, firstly, brain surgery is never easy. It's always difficult. Even the most simple operation you can do and you can destroy someone's life. The first time I was exposed to neurosurgery was doing paediatric neurosurgery. As a registrar, you are basically the man on the ground at the coalface. So you see all the emergencies, you see the kids are coming with bad head injuries that you've got to try and salvage in the uh, emergency room. And uh, in many uh, circumstances as well, you uh, operating on your own. So yeah, I was thrust in the deep end. I don't even see it as something that's that bad because when I go home, uh, I have this incredibly uh, fulfilling family life and I have a fulfilling pastimes and I have fulfilling friends and support system. To me, it's like, it's not my shoulders that are broad, it's, it's my family's shoulders that are broad and my friends that give me these broad shoulders to put up with all the pressure. Yes, I have been called a maverick and I've been called a cowboy and, and some derogatory terms and some quite uh, complimentary terms. But the bottom line is that I would never, I never aspired to be a maverick. The medical profession is a very conservative profession. And uh, the more I've been in it, the more I realise how conservative it is. To its detriment, I think. Thankfully, there are people out there who have challenged the status quo, have shown courage, and uh, have pushed the envelope and, and has advanced our science. So you just heard me then speaking about that, that person in the third person because I never really thought of myself as that person and I would like still not to think of myself as that person. I know in some ways it's complimentary but in other ways it's, it's, it's a hard, hard road. You know, neurosurgery is hard enough as it is. You're dealing with someone's brain, their life, their soul, their personality and one small mistake can mean loss of vision, uh, loss of memory, uh, loss of life, loss of limb. So you've got the pressure of that. And then you've got the pressure of my practice, which is brain tumors that no one else believed they can do. And then on top of that, you've got the acrimony of your colleagues. And you know they, they make it very clear, so I'm not exaggerating but they've made it very clear that they dislike me, they dislike what I do, and they have their knives poised at my back waiting for me to fail. So you have all those three tiers of pressure on you every case you do, and I don't want that pressure, so I would love to be considered mainstream. I would love to be considered by my colleagues as just another neurosurgeon. You know, everyone hears about the success stories, and because they're you know, feel good type stories and the media like them and I mean I like them when, when you know, someone does really well and it's a great story but for every success story unfortunately there's some terrible story and I think really in reality you learn more from the bad outcomes than you do the good outcomes. They are a constant reminder of how you've got to try and better yourself and try and improve the whole discipline, give back push the envelope, you know, try and do things better. And I set up the Cure Brain Cancer Foundation so I can give back to my patients and provide them with the hope that, you know, other people do care uh, and that uh, those poor old scientists are really struggling uh, get supported uh, financially uh, uh, through, the, through the foundation. You know, in terms of the contribution to humanity, uh, our scientists and our and our doctors and paramedics and nurses, you know, they deserve a whole lot more credit than they get, I think. Yeah. Including myself. <laughs> I mean, I, it's hard to make a statement like that when you're a doctor, but you know, I, you know I, I, whenever I see sportsmen getting those accolades and awards, I think those poor scientists down in my lab, they get there early in the morning, they leave late at night, they work on weekends, they get paid pittance, and they're doing it for, the, for, for mankind. And they, they don't get any sort of credit at all. It's really sad. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of us take, 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 and we never really think about that. But uh, creating a foundation and, and raising funds for our scientists is one way of doing that as a doctor. <laughs>